World Autism Day, we are encouraging people to think different about autism and conditions like autism. Um, what we are talking about is that beyond medicines, beyond therapies, uh, most of our children are receiving occupational therapy, neurodevelopmental therapy, speech therapy and behavior therapy and counseling. We also need to look at other things that can make a difference for them. One of those things is the phenomenon of multiple intelligences which assumes that there are many ways in which each one of us is intelligent and that children diagnosed with autism also have certain forms of intelligences like for example musical intelligence or logical mathematical intelligence or a linguistic intelligence or a spatial intelligence and what we need to do therefore is to try and identify these intelligences as a way of helping them discover the, their potential. The other thing we've done at Buddhi Clinic is to incorporate both neuromodulation which is using magnetic and electrical stimulation to stimulate the brain as well as uh, include uh, various uh, holistic treatments like Ayurveda, Yoga and Naturopathy in helping uh, these people with autism and with various other conditions of brain and mind achieve their potential and today's discussion with doctors, educators, parents has been uh, one way of connecting all these dots and making people on World Autism Day think different. Thank you. Sessions are required to see some significant differences. So by that, we are looking at 60 to 70 percent people who respond to it. About the sustaining the changes in a longer term, it depends upon what uh, are the previous symptoms are. So whether there are the mild, moderate, or severe category. In when we only talk about the autism, based on that, we can look what is the progress. And some people, they actually, uh, after the intensive sessions, which last about three to four times a week, for four to five weeks, they just require maybe a maintenance uh, session for next four months. And after that, their symptoms are totally uh, under control and they are living a good life. Uh, you know, uh, different. It, it, it's a very difficult task for them. For instance, there is a boy and I say hurry home to that boy and I don't see the response. But as I'm going out of that room, the hurry home comes from there. So there is, it, it's not that he hasn't heard me, he has heard me, but that immediate motor response of that speech coming out, it takes time. So when I speak to parents, I always say that your anxieties are very, very easily transferred to the child also. So if our expectations are very high and we move 
move them place to place, place to place, just because we don't see them go through the progress that we want to see in the time and in the way that we want to see, it gets transferred. So that also I think we need to take care of. Need you.